Good morning, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budrum and the, this morning we, I'm going to put the Impemba uh, effect and uh, what I've got is two identical glass jars here and I've got uh, I'm going to put equal volumes of water in and uh, in one I'm going to put cold so I'm going to put 250 mils of each um, going for the cold water first I'll be putting that one in the hot one so what I've got is a, a space in my freezer, in our freezer that's uh, ready for it. So I've got it on quick freeze. And we're going to come back in 30 minutes. 30 minutes have expired and uh, nothing started to happen yet. So I'll just uh, come back in 30, in another 30 minutes. I'm just uh, putting my stick in there. There's bits of ice, bits of ice on the top of the cold one. Uh, there's no ice at all in the hot in the hot one. And you can see the cold one is definitely a lot frostier around the top. 30 more minutes have expired and uh, so uh, this is uh, the cold one it's quite hard in places the hot one is still it goes right through. Another half hour has gone by and uh, Will is going to pick up her father he's coming for lunch so uh, it doesn't look all that different to last time so um, using my uh, my meat skiller um, I'm still able to get it to, to break the surface where the boiling water was but uh, I'm breaking the surface anywhere so it's, so we'll just see what it's like in another 30 minutes very little change here so uh, my stick will go through the hot water still uh, but I can't get it to go through the cold but uh, oh, yeah, got it to go through the cold so we'll come back in another half hour uh, very little change um, still able to poke my meat skewer into the hot one um, I can still poke it I can still poke it in the cold one. So what I might do is come back. What I might do is come back in one hour. They both seem to be pretty well equalised now. Um, I'm just trying my uh, meat skewer. I uh, don't seem to be able to get it to go through the hot one. Yep, I managed to get it to go through the hot one. And um, just going over to the cold one. Uh, I can't find the entry point for the cold one. So um, I'm just going to keep on going. We'll come back in another hour's time. One and a half hours have gone by now. And uh, I'm not going to poke the stick in there. I'm just going to uh, focus on the the water bubble within the in the jar so you can see the water bubble in the one that had the hot water and you come across to the water bubble in the cold jar and the water bubble in the cold jar certainly looks a lot smaller than the water bubble in the jar that had the hot water so I'm back again it's well over an hour and a half since the last time so it's got uh, still quite a big water bubble in the hot one and uh, on the cold one uh, you've got all those sort of layers there for some reason I don't know. and you've got sort of now looking down the throat um, the cold one hasn't started to push up yet uh, but the one that had the hot water is uh, pushing up at the top so um, we've still got that quite a big uh, water bubble down below. So uh, it's hard to say what's going on. They're both acting, they're both acting differently. So another 30 minutes have gone has gone by, and uh, having a bit of a look here. So the one that had the hot water, it's pushed up at the surface. When I had the cold water, still hasn't pushed up, uh, hasn't pushed up at the surface yet. 
Uh, it's, uh, when I had the hot's got that bit of layering, layering I was talking about, it's sort of hard to tell whether they're frozen solid or not. Good hour since I was uh, at these last time, and uh, Wilma and I had a little look at these, and we noticed a little bubble moving around inside there. So can you zoom in on that, please, Wilma? And see if your camera can pick up that little bubble. With yeah. that bubble, that I suppose it'd probably be about that big. I suppose the actual. So that's the cold one that started off with the cold water, and this one had the hot water, and it's also got a hole in the middle, and it's got a bubble in there as well. So you can see a little stream of bubbles coming up to the top, so they're still about the same size uh, bubble of water that still hasn't frozen, so they'd probably be on a par with each other, I'd say. The one that was cold looks a lot fuller than the one that was boiling. So maybe when, it, when it's all finished we can thaw it out uh, and then just see how much water's left. Just weigh what's, whatever. So a lot of the water must have vaporised out into the freezer, which might explain why a lot of the things have frosted up. <laughs> An hour later, or an hour and a half later, and they still have that uh, bubble of water inside the bottle with that air bubble in the, inside that bubble of water. So that's the cold water and they both seem to have about the same size water bubble. Uh, so what I'm going to do is leave uh, leave these out now. I'm going to call it a, uh, a tie. I'm going to say that uh, the I'm going to say that the hot water definitely didn't freeze quicker than the cold water and uh, I'm going to call it a tie but the uh, cold water certainly got ice well before the hot water so we've um, got a thunderstorm outside <laughs> getting a bit of a fright anyway um, I'm going to let these thaw out now and just see what the uh, difference in the volume of water is well, it's the next morning and um, I've uh, let all the ice thaw out and I've weighed it all and uh, my conclusion is that we gained one gram in the cold water jar but we lost 10 grams out of the hot water jar so that must have been to uh, vaporising and steam and that sort of thing and uh, so that uh, works out to 4% so we lost 4% of the boiling water to steam in the freezer and that one gram gain may have, may have been just condensation that uh, froze inside the jar as well as on top of the ice. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll, I'll catch you later. Bye.